So after the kidney does its filtration process, the urine has to be excreted out of the body. The body then is going to excrete the urine coming from the kidney. If we're looking here from the hilus of the kidney, comes out our ureter, which will come down and connect into our bladder. It will connect to our bladder on the posterior back wall. As the ureters enter the bladder on the back wall, we can see this nice triangle shaped muscle right here. This is our trigone. This trigone muscle will help with funneling the, uh, funneling the urine out through the urethra. As we can see right here, we have the opening of the urethra, which is also the internal urethral sphincter. The internal urethral sphincter will be the same in both males and females, but as we look over here, we'll see that it's gonna be different in the female. Here we can see the bladder, here in this model, with the base of the bladder where our internal urethral sphincter would be, but just going down past from the urethra, we can see the external urethral sphincter, which is only a short ways away. Coming up here to our picture on the board, we can also see this as well. Coming here is our bladder, the base of our bladder, internal urethral sphincter, and coming just shortly down the urethra, seeing our external urethral sphincter. So as we see, the urethra in the females is just one part. In males, we have three different parts of the urethra, as we can see here. The first part is the prostatic urethra passing through the prostate. The second section of the urethra is right here called the membranous urethra, which we can see also contains the external urethral sphincter. After passing through the external urethral sphincter, it goes into the spongy urethra, which is the main body of the, of the urethra on the male, which we can also see up here on our poster. We have the pros prostatic membranous with the external urethral sphincter and the spongy urethra. And that is where the urine hits the bowl.